Hey guys, just wanted to make a guide for the old Demon King. This is a boss in Dark Souls 3 found in Smoldering Lake. Uh, I won't be showing how to get to Smoldering Lake in this video. I'm showing just from the bonfire how quickly you can run to him. This is literally the first bonfire you can find in this place. But for anyone who doesn't know, Smoldering Lake is a place that's found by... You can go through the, all the catacombs, or if you've already beaten it, you can spawn over at um, High Lord Walnir's bonfire. And there's that bridge that like the 20 skeletons chase you across, and you can cut it and break it. You might not have noticed, but if you cut that thing and it breaks and it, and it comes down, what you can do is you can actually find that it turns into a ladder and you can climb it down. And that'll take you into Smoldering Lake. So just to state some things real quickly, I'm, I'm sorry about the video quality. There's nothing I can do about that. I was streaming it and my internet's a little shaky in performance. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. In addition, the audio on my live stream is fine. The audio on this recording got messed up, so I'll just find something to put over the empty space after I'm done talking. Because this video is longer than it should be. If you want to see... The meat of what I'm going to be talking about, you go to 4 minutes and 45 seconds into the video, you'll find exactly what I'm trying to showcase. I learned this at the same time in that video, that's when I figured it all out. So this is a boss that I thought was going to be easy, kind of like the Deacons or anything like that, and, and I thought I'd just kind of steamroll him, walk in there, start hitting him. It turns out I walked in there, I hit him, he had more health than I thought, which I thought wouldn't be a problem, then he hit me twice and I died. So I went in there twice and I tried to just kind of see what his moves are, and I learned that if you stand up close to him, he keeps trying to spam combustion, he has a lot of sweeping attacks, he tries to crush you with his giant weapon, and if you go away from him, all he does is just sprint at you until he, gets, he catches up to you, so there's nothing you can really do. You need to find like a happy middle ground, and what I learned is, is that if you can run a certain distance away, if, again, if you go to 4 minutes and 45 seconds into the video, you'll see about the distance that I would get away from him when he would start doing this, he'll run towards you. Now, if he runs towards you, you can actually run back towards him. And this seems kind of stupid, again, because he spams combustion and stuff like that, but he has this very large sweeping swing that he does. You'll, it's very recognizable. You can tell he's going to do it. Now, for me, with an Uchi Katana, a rather quick dexterity weapon, I could get three free cuts in before he would manage to do anything, and I could just roll away as if nothing ever happened, and I'm not even in fear of danger or anything. He's not going to hit me. It's not a problem. And anyone can do this, I feel. A magic build could walk right up to him, shoot him once, and then just leave. It doesn't matter. A dexterity build is probably the easiest for getting the most hits in. I don't know if he can bleed. Uh, my weapon is not for bleeding. It's I have it upgraded as sharp, so I don't know. But a strength weapon might be able to stun him, and then maybe you can get a, a critical attack on him. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure, but again... This is a very easy thing. If you want to see it, you can go to 4 minutes 45 seconds in. I apologize for the length of this video. It comes from me, again, trying to just test things out and see like what he does and what he does not do. And it was at that point that I discovered that you can actually just run right at him and he just swings around like an idiot and you can just kill him. This is a pretty abusable tactic. I found that um, if you do this at any point in the fight, regardless of what his health is at or what form he's in, he doesn't really do anything to change it. He just keeps doing the same thing, the wide swing letting you hit him, and then he tries to do one follow-up attack which you can just roll out of, and that's all there is to it. So I think in any new game or anything you feel like doing, this will just keep working, but again, I've only beaten him once, and this was a still just kind of a practice run, so I'm hoping this helps somebody. If it doesn't, then I'll try again in the next new game playthrough, and I'll see if maybe I can find something better.